Monday morning. Let's see how it looks. Hmm, a few clouds. Could be a sunrise. Let's head to the beach. I think I may be, may be moving today, by the way, moving rooms. Okay, now I'll do my usual looking out the room in the morning. And that is how it looks. Nice peaceful morning here. Staying at Eden, by the way, in case you missed it from the last vid. And this would be Fisherman's Village. Two dogs having a play fight. Look a nice morning. Let's cut through here. That's what we're after. Yeah. That works. Welcome to Hatbo Poop, by the way. Absolutely stunning. So this is... Charming Beaufort and Fisherman's Village that you're looking at. Beaufort Beach and Fisherman's Village in the background. In the morning. A couple gents off fishing. Let's get a coffee. And this marks the beginning of Beaufort Fisherman's Village. Bloody rush hour. <laughs> Unfortunately, that coffee shop is not open either, or I'd love to be on that balcony right now and enjoying this view. Here's my place. I got that for 150 baht a day. Brand new click. So new, it still has nubs on the tires. See that? I'm cleaning the pool already. Nice little water feature there. Oh. So, a little bit of breakfast, a little bit of editing, a little bit of exploring coming up. Oh, and changing rooms. And later on, I'll probably go out and find something at a local cafe that's not too expensive. Top up. So moving day, moving rooms day. For anybody who missed it yesterday, here's the room that I checked into. 600 baht, unbelievably great value. Obviously at this time, step up to the main area, the bed. And here's the glitch though for me. There's a step down, open this door, and there you be outside. Now, for some, that would add some flavor to the room, especially if you're a couple. But for me, I prefer to shave and do my business inside. For that reason, moving rooms today. So before I make a mess of it, the new room. Let's have a look. This is only 400 baht a night. But I mean, who's to quibble 400, 600? The main thing is the home nab, the bathroom, is, oh, I forgot to turn on the light, inside. Thank you very much. View to the pool. Good. Okay, all moved in. And they also kindly added this table and chair so I could comfortably do some editing. Not bad. I'm also just about to launch a fairly big project 
So I've got lots to do on that as well. Actually, I'm feeling like that top-up breakfast about now. Let's go down the street. That cafe is maybe one minute walk. Coco Tams, which is, hasn't seen a slow day since this started. <laughs> Believe it or not, you'll see probably tonight. I also checked out these, this guy's toys in the last video. The guy who lives opposite Coco Tams. I don't know if he's the owner or not. Now check this out. Everything is absolutely top drawer equipment and accessories. I've never even seen a beach or an off-road because it, it looks like you could eat off it. Could just take good care of it. Let's have a look at the bump, shall we? No expense spared on this whatsoever. Yeah, I'm not a mechanic, but I do like cars and bikes. Uh, it says Coco Tam, so he is associated with Coco Tams. And one of his daily drivers, Ford Ranger Velociraptor. Not just a Raptor, a Velociraptor. But wait, there's more. You know, your top pro jet skis, of course. But wait, there's still more. Brand new. Red plate meaning he's bought that recently. Bra bus. Anyone? This looks like a carbon fiber intake, doesn't it? Yeah, that's definitely carbon. Oh yeah, we got brakes. Look at that. There's some stopping power there. Everything he has is custom. And of course, is the bike collection. Shame on him. Some of those are actually have dust on them. Anyways, you're wondering how he affords all this. I'll show you this place tonight. It's, it'll be jumping, trust me. Now, right next door to Coco's, there's quite a few people here, not surprisingly. So, eggs, toast, and hash browns, 135. That's not bad. Burgers are well priced. Breakfast. That's a balsamic, not chocolate, by the way. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed it. This is the cafe across the street. This is the scene opposite. Lovely. Not a bad place to have a coffee. Good view. I think I'll walk up the street to the other coffee shop just to get the iconic shot of the pier. And here is Cafe du Pier. It has the iconic view. That is actually part of the original pier right there. The herd is moving on. That means full position. By the way, if you want to stay in an amazing little hotel, not expensive, right there, that has a rooftop pool. It's called the Hacienda. And the view is this. Gotta go. That paid up here. An endlessly charming little poop fisherman's village. And one of the nicest little beaches in Hall Assembly. Actually, let's continue up the street here just for a wee bit, 50 meters or so, and look at that Hacienda Hotel. And here is the Hacienda. Swati Cup? It was full this time. You have room today? Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I came back. So village sides 800 and then front side? The sea view? Yep. 1,200. It's pretty good. So this is a front side room for 1,200 now. How much in normal season? Um, if no COVID? No COVID. 2,900. 
2000. Last, last time I was upstairs, I had yeah. better views. But last day, upstairs the room that available is the other side. Oh, that's why you're showing me. Because we have your guests stay a long time for. Oh, upstairs. somebody took that room for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. This room right now is 800. You said. Yes. And in normal season, how much for this room do you think? 1,900, still a bargain, 60 bucks. Fantastic. This bathroom, as you can see. It was fine. Best feature about this hotel is this pool. It's perfect for a dip to cool off and that view. Ah, uh, the view. Are the staff good? Yeah. Good staff here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Fantastic staff. Hacienda. Highly recommended. Instead of walking up the street, let's walk up the beach. Heading towards well, the Ivis Hotel is at the end. Just a beautiful stretch of beach here. Any way you look at it. Probably Anatara. It's uh, way above my pay scale, but if you can afford it, fantastic place to stay, obviously. The Karma Resort. Let's just have a quick look. It's in a great position on this beach. Lovely pool and bar area. You can also stay at a cheap and cheerful place right across the way, which I looked at before as well, and then pay to use the pool for the day. Let's check that out while we're up here. Why not? Beautiful. Karma. This would be my choice for mint upper range, and Atara being the top, but this would, this is doable. So a treat. We'll open our lobby. What do you got? Room, so 2,000. 2, 2,200. In normal time, how much? Normally 4,400. 4,400. The garden room. Wow. Nothing more to add except wow. That's pretty bright because it has that, yeah, is that an outside bathroom? bathroom? Yes. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of those. Please come in. Okay, well this isn't really outdoors. Oh, well. Oh, I see. Okay, it's outdoor, but you're indoor outdoor. <laughs> hey, okay, this I don't mind. Yeah, this is all right. Wow, I like it. And that's just a wardrobe over there. Yes. So we have the wardrobe, safety box, action, smart TV. So that's pretty much everything. Karma. Good karma. <laughs> yeah, I love this outside here too. This must be so nice to come have a drink at night. Relax. You have the fan right there. Okay. All right. This is called a terrace room. Terrace. Imagine it's up there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so a lovely terrace. After all, it's a terrace room. Wow, you're right. This is bright. Look at that. It's an amazing room. And again, outdoor, but indoor. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is even bigger. Yes. It's more spacious than downstairs and more light, but it's gonna be a little bit too hot in the, during the day this, uh, compared to the other. Room. See, this I like. I love it. It's great, it's got the best of both. Sky shower, and the rest is inside, but it all gives an inside-outside feel. Yeah. I like. <laughs> Fantastic. Peekable view down to the beach and the bar. Oh. 
And if somebody is, wants to just use your pool, they can just go to the bar, or order a drink. Some appetizers or something and relax by the pool. Very nice. Wow. Thank you so much for showing me. I love it. Well, it turns out either the terrace room or the garden room. Absolutely fantastic. So that's Karma Resort. Now I want to show you also, I see another Jeep back there. I'll have to look in the way back. I want to show you also a fantastic place across the way. So again, you're a stone's throw from the beach. Right there, the White Cottage. There's the White Cottage. Just turn right there and you're at Karma. You could use their pool, as you heard her say. Or, enjoy your little pool here. I'm so tempted to ring that gong. <laughs> Wadi Cup. How much is your standard room? Standard room now, 500 baht per night. If 500? you stay, yes. If you stay more, be more tonight or about three nights, we can discount more. Today, check out already. Check Please out. Start to clean, yes. They haven't got around to cleaning because they just had a people check out. You can see. Okay, thank you so much. See you again. Cop and cop. Cottage. Karma. That Jeep's a real deal, isn't it? Wow. Check that out. Get the jerry cans. Look at this. I would have this thing under cover so fast. <laughs> what a beauty. Don't you love this? And we'll walk back to the beach. Small but adequate gym. Yeah, I mean, if you're just on holiday, that's all you need, right? A few machines. And importantly, free weights and a bench. That's really all you need. A little shop there of some sort. Yeah, this karma. <laughs> This would definitely be my mid-range pick. And you might say, well, at those prices, that should be luxury pick. And it, and it is, but Anatara is another step up. But this is, I just love the look and feel of these rooms. Back to the beach. Karma Resort, love it. Okay, we've come a couple of clicks up the beach. Beautiful Bopu Beach. And we're almost near the end. And I think the Ibis. That is Ibis Hotel Pool number one. Overlooking the beach. And back here is pool number two. Why not? See, one of the benefits of traveling at this during this time, there isn't a bunch of towels sat out there saving those chairs for hours. <laughs> no further comment. More towels on balconies. So there are some people here. Domestic travelers like me. This is the lobby. What do you cup? This is this one the bang day room, this one the standard. This standard room um the room is twenty one square meters. Yep. I know, I stay at Ibis Riverside in Bangkok before. Same, yeah. Yeah, same. I bet, uh, I bet everywhere, same. Same. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. So, pretty good value. Especially considering the location. Yep, can't beat the Ibis location. And the price really. Here on the apex of the corner of the beach is, I want to say Zazen. We've got a sign there. Locked in paradise, enjoy our crazy long stay rates. Start from 990 baht, around $30 or something like that. 
haven't been here before, so I have to pop up and have a look. Well. What a beautiful setting. I'm etching this in my mind to bring back to Bangkok. <laughs> Whenever I do go back, I keep extending this trip. There you go, 990 baht a night, currently. Zayzen, with two Zs, or Zeds, or however you want to say it. Walk wouldn't be complete if we don't tag the corner. Pull up a swing, have a sundowner. Sydney, 7,246 kilometers. Oi, oi, oi. A lot of kilometers. <laughs> but hopefully just a short plane ride away in the not too distant future. Please. <laughs> I've been on this walk for about two hours now, by the way. Just in case you're wondering how the time is. Can't really tell with editing. A long walk back. I hope I've got enough sunscreen on. <laughs> I've thoroughly enjoyed this walk. I like looking at different accommodations. I also like getting a lot of steps in, so it ticks both boxes. Okay, almost back. And yeah, it looks like Hoko Tams is setting up the cash register. I mean, the, the chairs for tonight's fire shows. <laughs> it's a free show, but they pack them in. I tell you, this place is a money-making machine. It's incredible. But it's a great show too. Why not? If you look back in the previous video, you'll see this place is packed. <laughs> and it will be again tonight. Guaranteed. Every weekend. I'll just show you. Coco Tabs. Two floors full. You want to see the whole fire go? Please look back in the previous bit. I need a shower. <laughs> I'm about to block up this beach. It's for eight this morning. Cafe. Let's go. My pool showered and back on the edit. These things don't edit themselves. Actually one, a, a decent video say around 20 minutes could take up to 12 hours to edit, believe it or not, at least for me. That's probably why you see so many starting to do these walk and talk things where you just you do very minimal or zero edits and you walk and you go, this is the blah, 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 there's that pub, there's <laughs> 15 minutes later you say, well, that's a bit. See you in the next one. And, and then you're done and post it. Maybe I should start doing those dead simple videos. <laughs> Anyways, I don't blame those guys. They seem to get a lot of views and uh, I guess the art of making videos is declining. It's becoming a, a walkie-talkie type thing. If not, just out and out live, just press live and walk. Back to the edit grind. <laughs> Many hours later. Hunt and gather. Dinner, that is. Focus. Happy Friday restaurant. Decided to try this last time. Well, here I am. You see, the prices are great. It's very convivial. There's the waitress, and it turns out that the owner is her mom, and also the main cook. This place suits me just fine. At the risk of being predictable, this is a Penang guy. Southern curry chicken on the right. And on the left is yamusang gung, which is uh, like spicy glass noodles with shrimp. And of course, a little bit of rice. This looks like the real deal. I can hardly wait to tuck into that. Yeah. It was incredibly good. <laughs> highly recommend this place, highly. Fisherman's Village, old entrance. Happy Friday or Watani. Beside the tattoo sign. Fantastic place. Is that you, Joel? Yeah. You remember me? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, fine. You remember oh. last time? Phone talk, yeah. You're getting more customer now? Before you say no customer. Now you have a okay. customer? 
Ninh Rồi hả? Ninh Rồi, yeah. You can walk back, yeah? Yeah, I can walk back. Okay, perfect. Right here, perfect. Okay, fine. Thank you, Joe. Okay, see you again. <laughs> come, come, come. Come, come, come. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you around. And there goes Joe. If you watch my old Samui video, you'll see Joe just showed up when I was being drenched on the street out of nowhere and ferried me around looking for hotels. Brilliant. So I arrive here and what happens? Joe turns up again. <laughs> and back home. It's probably going to be it for tonight. We'll see. Right, just finished up some editing. And I think that's where we'll call it a night. So, thanks for coming along today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Good night. Yeah, the iconic view.